and welcome to another episode of Hard Factor. It is Friday, April 9th, 2021, episode number 663 of Hard Factor. I'm Will, we got Mark and Pat, and we got intern, intern Bubba producing, and Wes is off today enjoying the Masters, I'm sure. Probably just watching, just, just st- mainline in the Masters. He's been burning it on both ends, that guy. Man, <laughs> the spring the weekends working. has motherfucking sprung, I gotta say. Uh-huh. Uh, sp- even in the NJ. even Is it because your- you hear the Masters music on TV? Dude, Augusta? is there anything more, especially now that we have baby, is there anything together. more chill than having golf on in the background? There's nothing no. more chill than it. Yeah, you're right. By the it, way, Will, nice I have a... Greens. I have a boat to pick with you. And Pat, it's like what? ninety it's ninety degrees in Austin, so we skip spring. We're just in summer. What's, uh, it's, what's the bone? It's episode six sixty four, my friend, not six sixty three. Oh so, yeah. shit, you're right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, I kind of messed up there. Fact, Fact check, check Friday. Friday. <laughs> Jake's four jobs, Will. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I got a lot of moving parts here on this sheet. I got the That's buzz. Right. I got the dates. I got but the... I'm with you. The weather's beautiful, Pat. It's a little warm. I'm going to get in the baby pool this weekend. I got the green jacket on for the Masters. I'm feeling good. You guys feeling good? It's Friday. <laughs> feeling great. That jacket yeah. looks great. That jacket looks great. I would have worn a jacket, but I had to wear the Elon sweatshirt, and I can't wear a jacket over the sweatshirt because I'm no. far too fat. Well, so, Fridays are all that would that'd be hot. That would be very, that would be very hot. hot. Uh, Fridays are also casual, but, you know, it's it's just a green jacket. So I had to throw it on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You guys were posting um, uh, some good throwback pictures uh, with PFT and everybody on Twitter. And here's one. I saw that Wes wasn't in a lot of them. So here's one with Wes. Do you see it? It's oh, King, yeah. It's King's Dominion 2008. Oh, that's just Pat. Um, hey. Uh, <laughs> Dominion, yeah. which, is in, uh, which is in Richmond, Virginia. And uh, that's... Uh, me not eric eric pft's dead brother uh wes he's wes doing and a, blow and a, and a, wes in a dead football team jersey right is that the mm-hmm. washington that's football a, team I think that's yeah. a randall l uh redskins okay. jersey and then uh our buddy colin doing the lick in the vagina uh finger <laughs> thing. Of classy dude so we were on the dominator <laughs> roller coaster that's a roller coaster pick dominating the dominator king's dominion 2008 a classic you got, you got anything else yeah i got one uh mark this is of uh, uh Right before I drove to LSU, there's Mark, uh, Hard Factor Mark, PFT, and myself. PFT and Hard Factor Mark are much lighter. So thin. Yeah, yeah look at that shirt. That's like a medium, and it's like falling off of me. Like, a, like how big that I shirt mean, that, is. That might be a small. And PFT, <laughs> PFT shirt is probably a child's shirt. Well, right PFT there. is probably 130 there, and I'm probably like 155. Yeah. What the, uh. <laughs> I think you got it. Well, Will, <laughs> looking at those photos, and by the way, if you want to see them, YouTube.com slash Hard Factor News. Mm-hmm. Uh, Looking at those photos, Will, you of all of us are the only one that, that looks better than you did in high school and maintains some sort of semblance of your body, whereas the rest of us really just let it go. Well, it helps right. when you're already huge to begin with. That but was you look like, better than you did in high school. That was already like that? a bit a big man right. athlete to start with. So it, like to, to maintain that, it's a little bit, I feel like probably easier than it is to maintain what you guys were working with, which was like rail skinny. Do you remember yeah. when we went to that the, wasn't uh, gonna that wasn't gonna stay. <laughs> That's harder to get to stick. I was running like 50 <laughs> miles a week. You can't do that for the, your whole life. Yeah. Do, do you remember when we went to the uh like we were shopping for a car for you or, or like picking up your parents' car? We went to the Buick dealership in Herndon. And like the old ass car dealer, like started slapping your chest and be like, "You're a barrel chested fella, aren't you?" <laughs> I do you? think I remember. He was that. like slapping your chest. He was like <laughs> kind of slapping you around. He's like, "That's an appropriate theme." You, you yeah. barrel chested. Oh, bitch! You old, tear it up on the gridiron. Old men do get a little horny about like young guys yeah. they think could play some good football. Like, oh, I bet that boy can hit somebody. He just Woo! slapped your chest. Pan- <laughs> you're a pan- slapping. You're you. a pancake machine, boy. I've, I've always got a lot of ass slaps. That's just the the yeah. that's the plight of being a big did he, man. <laughs> did he give you a deal on the car or no i didn't buy well oh wait i did get the car yeah you got alero the black alero oh my that what a car too bad i crashed that into a a wall in college it happened you you gotta load those yeah you gotta load those to to like the tweets oh i'm gonna i'll I'll get them up i'll get them up people should watch youtube.com slash artifact news also to see them but uh, you know i'll also i'll load them i'll load them social media Let's do the Um, news. Let's do it. We got, I mean, we got a shitload of news today. We got the Daily Buzz. We got, uh, sadly, more shootings to talk about, but that's just for a second. Then we got Florida men. Uh, There's a a guy, a taco guy, Elon's world, a politician who got nasty voicemails and reviews. It's a packed show, fellas. We got to get going. I'm sorry. I've, I've delayed us so long. Let's go to the buzz. 
It's an eight piece again today at number eight. Uh, YouTube. You guys know who Mr. Beast is? Yes. So, okay. He he does Minecraft videos. No, I think uh, Mr. Mr. Beast is that guy who's kind of created like the the, the charity um, guy perpetual motion machine where like he spends money on YouTube, which makes money on YouTube for him. He's yeah. like he'll, he'll give his buddies like, hey, can you spend a hundred grand in a day, buddies? And then that yeah. video earns more than a hundred grand. He does. Yeah, I, yeah and he, I, he does like the videos where he gives homeless people like ten grand or whatever right. and crap. He like does that. a yeah. lot of it involves money. I think a lot of it involves Minecraft too, because he did a, mm. the the world's biggest Minecraft explosion, and it's twelve million million views and counting it's just right. crazy He's what's just going on with this guy but th that guy has Ooh, done a lot i can't of believe i missed the world's biggest minecraft explosion i know that, right but what that, i'm saying can we, is like, can we can we stop the show well so mark, watch that? mark mark what i'm saying is we should have been doing minecraft and among us uh twitches and youtubes this whole Look, time you're right we're idiots you know. for doing daily you're right news. what you know i but, can't i can't do i can't fake that i like minecraft okay well yeah it's true we got we would have had to get back into minecraft and among us and all those other things but i'm telling you these things move the needle. He did There's some a food bank stuff recently. He's doing some good stuff. He, they trend hard. Yeah, he does yeah, charity. He's, he does he's, charity he's stuff. philanthropic as well. Number seven, uh, the Disney Avengers Campus in California, Disneyland, uh, is opening in June. Uh, looks pretty sweet. Who just cares? Nice. Just an Avengers no, theme area. That's way the cooler park. than a Minecraft explosion. Well, I mean, it would be cool to drink out of like an Iron Man shaped glass. Yes. Or like, like a, a like a Hulk glove, big, like a yeah. giant Hulk glove. Whoa! Yeah. yeah. What if it was like? Yeah, it's like sixty ounces, and it's. Oh. You don't have to go to a theme park for that, bro. Just go go to. Well, but then you can go on rides. It's still fun. It's like a date. You get out of the house. You can go that, do. Like it's still fun. If they have the Mega Hulk like beer or mixed drink, I. I, I want to go. Yeah, we I want to go. go. We should go. Number six, uh, Instagram slash Facebook outage. Uh, I guess Zuckerberg had a bad day uh, Thursday afternoon. Both. Uh, social media sites went down. Twitter was also having bugs. Apparently, like Twitter was tweeting about how everybody was going over to Twitter because uh, Facebook and Instagram were down, but then it got buggy. So people got kicked out of Twitter too. So. Well, we didn't touch on it this week, I don't think, but the Facebook had the, what, 533 million people's phone numbers breach. Oh, gosh. It was like one of the biggest Not data good. breaches. Like, yeah, and Zuckerberg and Facebook are blaming people, like the users, but they got another half a billion breach of everyone's data. Again oh, man, week. your data uh, is so fucked. I remember yeah. when, Will, when we used to we used to work at a certain job together, we all did, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, part of that job was setting up, um, if you want to be a user of this particular service, you had to set up a, a username, right, which is your email, and then a password. Uh, -huh. uh, and just as an experiment, this is 15 years ago, I would take the password and then their email and see if I could log into their email, the password they set up for this portal. And every time it was the same, exactly. Every time you well, I've been getting <laughs> every time the phone, the phone number things alarm me. Cause this week I've been getting like, I don't know, three to four text messages a day from clearly spam things that if I click on the oh, about your phones. Netflix being canceled or... or anything, but it's been, <laughs> it's been picking up like way more this week. And I'm going to blame the 500 million person Facebook breach for that. Yeah, I mean, you, I, yeah. when in when in doubt, I think you can yeah. blame social media for most bad things that happen right. on the it's internet. It's bad, or you get like an email, like someone logged into my uh, my Shake Shack account the other day. <laughs> what? And I'm like, well, I, what do I? What? Uh, yeah, I think I have. I got to like spend a... time in my day find re-downloading the Shake that Shack. Was that, okay, that was me. That was me. That was me. Thank you. That was Peace me. Oh, good. Disaster averted. Number five. Uh, President Joe Biden has labeled gun violence a public health crisis and ordered six executive orders to curb the crisis, which we had mentioned yesterday. Uh, it's trending again uh, because here's the six. Limiting handgun upgrades, specifically stabilizing braces, putting more uh, people on red flag watch list for gun violence, investing in non-incarceration rehabilitation, and cutting down on quote-unquote ghost guns and illegal firearm tracking with the new head of the ATF, David Chipman. Uh, he's also calling for Congress to act and do more of a bill, some sort of gun control bill in his speech. Biden also said no constitutional amendment is absolute. So I guess don't count your amendments too closely, boys. Uh, might not be absolute in Biden's America. A few a few of them probably should be absolute. What is uh, that? Yeah. None of them. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but, 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 I don't, but he said well, none of them are. The first is the first is on the table. <laughs> Yeah, change. first, third, first, fifth, second, eighth, yeah. ninth, tenth. <laughs> Those are ones that probably shouldn't be on the okay. table. Uh, but okay, uh, number four, Chloe Kardashian accidentally posted a non-photoshopped 
pic of herself uh, on the internet. And now her team is going nuts trying to erase it. Uh, there, Bubba, put it up for you, boys. It's the one on the left. Uh, yeah, so you can doesn't see. look bad. I mean, right, yeah, but it's, it's not what she normally posts. Um, Dude. And so. Yeah. This lady is like getting to Michael Jackson level areas <laughs> of body modification. And, and and Chloe, guess what? We know that you're the least traditionally attractive of your family members. We know that. That's okay. You might have the best personality, in fact, because of that. So just give it the fuck up. Did you, I forget what all, new commercial she's all doing. All the Kardashians and Jenners are beautiful. Enough with the touching up of the pictures do you like, think you that they to all go it. to the same plastic right. surgeon so they can all still kind of look like family yeah as... the guy that has the billion dollar mansion i mean that'd be a good idea you want to yeah. keep it you want to keep it similar uh it is weird though that her whole thing is like body positivity accepting yourself and then every photo is heavily photoshopped on top of all of the plastic surgery so i mean yeah. what isn't, is isn't today mix, isn't right? today like um respect women day on twitter or whatever oh right i didn't look up the days today but that's the day respect they're not the women are not supposed to tweet so you're supposed and to respect women by they don't tweet well they picked the, the right weekend because it's the master's weekend they're my like, lady it's, it's all you men on twitter tweeted. we got a new baby she's got to keep earning <laughs> gotta gotta pay the bills well did someone did, it, did you guys see that tweet someone did it made me laugh out loud you know, um, jacked kid, like the kid that had like a steroid body. He's like a tan. You've seen this guy. The one who like does the Tarzan kid with the yeah, long Tarzan hair. Yeah, someone yeah. tweeted. Kid, yeah. He's like 40 was, now. Yeah. Someone tweeted uh, <laughs> him and was like, man, I'm, I, I can barely even recognize Chloe Kardashian these days. I thought that was oh. uh, oh. Want to feel old? This is the Tarzan kid. Bubba, pop in if that's not the tweet you were laughing about. What what tweet were you laughing about? Bubba Come has, something. Bubba Bubba has what, something fresh. What were you thinking of? I was I was laughing at the the tweet where Kate tweeted a picture of her top boobie. Oh, with Emily Rat Rajkowski or whatever. Yeah, she's yeah. like I should stop comparing my pregnancy recovery to hers. Well, Emily Rajkowski is literally probably the, like the hottest woman in the world, and she was showing yeah. Her image. Oh. I thought we were all going to celebrate that, but Pat was I just was looking at so the, now I'm the just ashamed part of the Emily Rajkowski tweet since Look. Kate already showed us all her tits the last show. I've <laughs> I've been in the room with both of them. Kate and Emily Ratatowski and uh, Kate Totter. So, oh, oh there you nice. go. Good, Good shit. Work. She's there totally, go. gonna, she's totally gonna bone you now, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Debate settled. Uh, number three, UEFA, uh, the Europa League. Mm. UEFA Europa League. Uh, the results came in. Arsenal continues to be an utter disappointment for millions around the globe. Oh. They tied Slavia Praha. In the first leg of the quarterfinal, Euro Euro and that's Europa's like the like, JV. Yeah, it's the NIT. Europe is like the <laughs> NIT. Like no one cares, right? <laughs> I mean, come on. But it was still trending because soccer is big and it's in full right, effect. Right, right. Just like number two, the Masters, and Justin Rose was trending. Uh, how are the bets looking, Mark? Uh, Pat, you wait. I didn't. I, my book had shitty odds for. What's uh, number Paul. one, Will? <laughs> well, I, I called Wes yesterday. <laughs> And was just like, hey, can you explain the Masters to me? Because I've never watched golf before. And he broke it down to me. Uh, so now I'm excited. But I took all his picks blindly. Uh, not so not great. Oh, no. So not great. Speed's our uh, only hope right now. I mean, it's yeah. early. But no one had Justin Rose. Uh, apparently, he withdrew from three or four tournaments recently. And he was like 70 to 1 or 65 to 1. He's a good golfer. He's won like most years in the PGA. He's and, a big name, yeah. But no one had him on their radar. And he just fucking almost shot a course record today or out of nowhere yeah it's yeah. like fucking roulette though man it's just like roulette there's so many you know there's so many options of guys and one yeah. guy is gonna fucking win it's it's ridiculous yeah you can like count some people out but it's hard to like pick the winner yeah well that's uh gambling is a fickle mistress and right. number one trend is a sad one unfortunately former nfl player philip adams killed five people in a home in south carolina near his parents home then killed himself on Wednesday night. Adams is only 32. I think Pat's going to tell you a little bit more about that after a quick word from our sponsor. Uh, and today's Daily Buzz was brought to you by Lightstream.com Debt Consolidation Services. Want to get your finances in order? The first thing you need to do 
is to squash that useless credit card debt with a credit card consolidation loan from Lightstream. It's an easy way to save hundreds to thousands of dollars and lower your interest rate. Lightstream offers credit card consolidation loans from 5.95% APR with auto pay and excellent credit. That's way lower than your credit card is probably charging you right now. Just racking up interest, doing nothing for you, but costing you money. Lightstream can help you get rid of that. And I know from experience that Lightstream will help you knock those credit card bills down faster and cheaper than trying to manage them all yourself. They've helped me manage uh, several uh, debts at once. I know they've helped the other hosts as well. Lightstream is legit. They will help you consolidate your credit card debt. And just for our listeners, apply now to get a special interest rate discount and save even more. The only way to get this discount is to go to lightstream.com slash factor. That's L-I-G-H-T-S-T-R-E-A-M dot com slash factor. Uh, the disclaimer subject to credit approval rates and rates range from 5.95% APR to 19.99% APR and include a 0.5% auto pay discount. Lowest rate requires excellent credit terms and conditions apply and offers are subject to change without notice. Visit lightstream.com slash factor for more information. Cool. Nice. Okay. Really quick. We're going to get through these because we hate doing them, but I feel like we have to, there were two mass shootings yesterday. We'll mention the first uh, involving Philip Adams early in the day on Thursday in South Carolina. We usually Adams. don't say the name, right? Like he's we don't like say an the NFL name. player. Like we probably can we bleep his name out maybe in post? Like we we're just gonna say- we're gonna let it ride because right. you know whatever. It, he shit. was it was the number one trend. Um, yeah. So, yeah, yeah, it's unusual, but usually we wouldn't say the name. More because importantly, because we're gonna, it's because of he was a former NFL player. We're right, gonna I focus know, on the I victims know. here, guys. Yeah. Uh, real quick on the shooting uh, early in the day on Thursday, Adam shot uh, Doctor Robert Lessey or Leslie, 70 years old, his wife, Barbara, uh, their grandchildren, uh, Adea Alessi and Noah Alessi, uh, who Fuck are nine and five, him. Yeah. as well as a repairman, James Lewis, who is 38 years old, uh, and then obviously himself. So real quick, Dr. Alessi. Uh, hey, at least one of the bullets was was useful. Right. Uh, yeah, Dr. Alessi. killed him. Right. Uh, he Real quick, he was the founder of Riverview House Calls and Riverview House Hospice and Palliative Care. Uh, and according to the services joint websites, uh, he had been practicing in Rock Hill since 1981 as a doctor. He was very well respected in his community. Uh, he was an author of numerous books that dealt with faith and medicine. He was a man of God. And in his spare time, he enjoyed writing, golf, uh, hunting, uh, growing fruit and uh, hops, which is cool. So he was probably a beer brewer and bagpiping. Interesting. Whoa, uh, whoa, bagpipe. That's badass. That cool, sucks. Cool guy. Very upsetting. Um, the second one uh, on Thursday afternoon, some dickhead opened fire at a business park in Bryant, Texas, which is right outside of College Station. And the business park contained the headquarters of Kent Moore Cabinets, uh, where the suspect is believed to have been an employee. Uh, and unfortunately, one person was killed uh, and five were injured, including a Texas DPS officer who was shot while pursuing the subject. That officer is in serious but stable condition. Uh, yeah, those we, we don't have much information on the victims there, so that's just what we're going to do on it. Let's take it to the Internet real quick. Uh, earlier in the day, Texas Governor Greg Abbott uh, tweeted, quote, Biden is threat- threatening our Second Amendment rights. He just announced a new liberal power grab to take away our guns. Quote, we will not allow this in Texas. It's time to get a legislation making Texas a Second Amendment sanctuary state passed at my desk for signing. So, yeah. Uh, he, now Abbott tweeted that it's before. Sanctuary state. Yeah, it, it's hilarious. a sanctuary state already. Great. Don't worry about it. Uh, but Abbott tweeted that before the shooting. But uh, weird timing, right? Weird timing. I mean, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sure there, he did. No one's the second. The second amendment is going to stay. No, it's not going like, anywhere. It's not about that. It, it's not like. Look, let's move on. Um, I got a story from Jacob B. Thanks, Jacob B. On Instagram. So it is Friday. And if you want to get a full dose of Florida Man Friday, head over to our Patreon at patreon.com slash hard factor, where for less than the price of a of one six pack of beer, you can get a month's worth of Florida Man Friday stories. Mm. Pretty good. But mm. we do like to give a taste still on our normal Friday shows. And today we have quite the story. It's an honorary Florida Man story. Kevin Wayne Van Leuven of Clarkston, Michigan, is a 59-year-old home inspector who is no longer allowed to be in a house alone unsupervised. Let's oh. take a... <laughs> tough. It's going to cut his salary in half at least. Plus, yeah, it's tough for a home inspector. Let's take a listen to the local news clip about Van Leuven. Try to note like the disgust in the uh, everyone's voice. Hmm. It's so disturbing. We want to warn our viewers, make sure the kids are in bed or out of the room. It involves a disgusting act with a beloved character from Sesame Street. A home inspector (laughs) caught on a nanny cam pleasuring himself with a stuffed toy while on the job. 
Fox 2's Taryn Asher here now with more on the story. Taryn? Well, Hewell, let's put it this way. Technology can be a blessing and a curse. The camera in the baby's room triggered by movement and caught exactly what the home inspector was doing. I mean, it's just, wow. It's not often you hear a reaction like that from the Oakland County Sheriff. That was the and sheriff. it's not often you hear of an act so appalling. On guy. March 12th, before selling, an Oxford Township couple let this man into their home on Gill Street for a routine inspection. Yeah, it turned into mistake. anything but. They left, <laughs> never suspecting the 59-year-old the man would allegedly fulfill his sexual urges Ew, in the baby's with their child's room. Elmo doll. Aww. While he was in there, he took that opportunity to be in a baby's nursery. And worse, while he's in the nursery, for whatever sick reason finds himself in need of sexually gratifying self <laughs> with a tickle me elmo doll oh. with a tickle me elmo doll so yeah. Van Leuven was <laughs> his nose was so fucked up that guy's a sick fucker right there uh, yeah. yeah i'm glad that I, I was curious whether it was a tickle me elmo or a sexually assault me elmo but uh, yeah <laughs> right or touch me here yeah, yeah. touch me here elmo. i mean uh, so <laughs> you kind of Elmo's not completely free of fault here with the noises that he makes. You got to be on like, you know, he's asking if you're saying Elmo's asking for it with that a little noise. bit. Elmo's asking. For it. I mean, I'm I just mean, saying, I mean, look, like, this guy's this is fucked up. And, and I don't know how many guy. I don't know how many bronies. We Elmo's, have. It's a nine to ten split here in terms of uh, yeah, Elmo's with, a gimp. He's, he's, he's a I'm with gimp. Pat. I don't know how many bronies uh, we have listening to the show, but my little pony makes a lot less sense than like a bunch of pedophiles loving Elmo. Like the, Elmo's like right the, there. The craziest well, part. Pedo. It's on the, the nose. This, oh, the craziest part about this, though, is that he does that. He might not. I mean, I don't. That's a weird. I don't know. That, that's weird. Does he is he a pedo or is he not? That's another well, question, but let's, but he's yeah. done this in every house he's ever he's for sure. Well, for sure. Well, so every, Van house every, Elmo. every house. No, I don't know about that. Pal. We'll into, so Van Leuven was doing a home inspection. And the sellers let the buyers uh, real estate agent and Van Leuven in the house. So it was like the buyers, real estate agent and this home inspector. They did the inspection when they weren't there. Big mistake. Van Leuven went into the nursery and took the baby's tickle me Elmo doll and started tickling himself. Uh, the thing and the, the thing is, the nursery had a motion activated camera in it and Van Leuven was doing all sorts of motioning to activate it. Oh, so yeah. the 22 year old homeowner who was probably at work started watching Van Leuven on her phone through the nursery camera feed. And when she realized what he was doing, she started recording it on her phone screen grabbed it uh van leuven when finished put the elmo back where he found it so no one, so no one would be the dirty. wiser yeah as he probably has done like will suggested in hundreds of homes Every previously, previously. but technology house. finally caught up to him so a bunch of parents thought in michigan that their baby like spit up on a stuffed animal when really it was L van leuven's loads in the <laughs> <laughs> this spit up's different do you notice that it's a different? It got really crusty and hard when we tried. The, I mean, like a new parent, I'll tell you, as a new parent, like, right. you see anything different, like, should we go to the doctor? Well, we I mean, Pat, but Pat, you're not going to suspect the home inspector busted a load on the stuffed animal. Well, I look yeah. at Van Leuven, you might. Okay. People, well, people may have do, thought. You, you will now. Well, she, there's a reason she pulled up her, her app and was like, ah, let true. me take a look at this guy. That's true. Well, now if, he, <laughs> now if he ever does any home inspections in the future, he's going to have to explain that he, he likes to have sex with stuffed animals. So, yeah. Do, do you, you guys now. know? Okay. So, so one thing we've, we've uncovered while doing over the course of this show is, mm -hmm. and it's fucking sick, but pedophiles will go to the greatest lengths to put themselves in positions of power over children right like they, they'll they'll play a long con it'll be like a 20-year thing now this guy's not a pedo necessarily can we, yeah can we pump the brakes on guaranteeing as a pedo because we're talking, not, about, no, I'm not, we're I'm talking not. about babies here i'm not listen to, listen to what my analogy here what i'm saying right. is do you think van leuven specifically chose home inspection as his career yes so yeah. that he oh, yeah. could yes. get yes, off I on do. his weird king I yes of course I, off on yes, the Sesame Street. yes of course i do he I wants to sometimes be, Pat, he wants to be in the home alone whether yeah, yeah he yes of course sometimes it's the tickle me elmo sometimes it's exactly. the sex toys in the bedroom sometimes yeah I, it might I be, mean, it might be the white it might be the wife's underwear it's he wants whatever to van leuven you know feeling that day you're yes. so wrong. Tickle no, me. You think it's always. Great. You think it's always a stuffed animal. It's tickle me almost way Every too time. specific. I like, think he probably has a list, a checklist. If he's like no stuffed animals, he moves down to the next one. But no, it's like a, a sick puppy. It's a yeah. weakness <laughs> for him. I think. I think he's. Oh, I think Grady he's walking John through there being like, this guy. please no elmos, please no elmos, please no elmos. Oh god, oh, damn no. it! He's hot now I have to do it. Well, could be Pat Van Leuven's next court appearance is 
is April 19th before Judge Nancy Carniak, who probably doesn't want to see him, where he uh, faces aggravated indecent exposure charges, which carry up to two years in prison maximum and a $2,000 fine. A second property charge carries up to a 93-day jail sentence and a $500 fine. And as a condition of, of bond, they let him out. Van Leuven is not to be alone in any residential property he does not own, as I mentioned at the top of the story. And he is obviously to not have contact with the victims. He's done enough to them. And uh, they're going to make him take a mental health evaluation where they will be betting on how crazy he really is i think some people will be on the on the line of he's a pedophile some people will be on the line of like you know no he thinks the stuffed animals are real and they're hitting on him you know like it'll be like oh it'll be a fun game they can play to see how crazy this guy really is um yeah. and that's about it for that they one. gotta throw the book at that guy so now let's switch gears and talk about paint your life <laughs> hopefully it's a book with words and not just well if it's a pop-up book he's gonna jerk off into it <laughs> if that's like a puppet book <laughs> You know what I'm talking about those little puppets. Yeah, where you put one your of those fingers cardboard. Through it. Put your finger that. through it. Oh yeah, or the one with the, the yeah, you finger through it. and You're like the worm. Or yeah, the I'm talking about the worm one. That's the one uh, he wants. Yeah, that's okay, perfect. guys. I don't know if you. Do saw you have this, this in a in a men's large? <laughs> yeah, not the books. Um, that's where he goes first. I don't know if you saw the throwback Thursday pictures we threw up on Twitter yesterday or listen to the top of the show where Will threw up some old pictures of us, but there are some pretty incredible ones of us, the host, including Wes, who's not here, and our buddies hanging out. Uh, they're so fucking good that I think we should commemorate one of them with a professionally done painting from paintyourlife.com. Mm. What, what say you? Let's do Yay. it. Yay. Yay. Exactly. Aye. Pa- the eyes have it. The eyes have it. Paintyourlife.com lets, uh, lets you get an amazing painting at a truly affordable price. If you want to give a truly meaning, meaningful gift, you've got to try paintyourlife.com. Choose from a team of world-class artists and work with them until every detail is perfect. It's a user-friendly platform. lets you order a custom-made hand-painted portrait in less than five minutes. Guys, a painting is perfect, meaningful, uh, personal gift that can be cherished forever at paintyourlife.com there's no risk if you don't love the final painting your money is refunded guaranteed and right now as a limited time offer get 20 percent off your painting that's right 20 percent off and free shipping of a painting uh what to get this yeah. special offer text the word factor to 64,000. that's factor to 64,000. text factor to 64,000. paint your life celebrate the moments that matter most terms mm-hmm. apply available at paintyourlife.com slash terms again text factor to 64,000. yeah you will not regret it, and it'll be in your family forever. It'll be awesome. Uh, and, and free shipping on a painting is like a $1,000 uh, cash value. I mean, yeah. I don't even know. You can't put a value on that. It's I don't like, know how they do it's that. It's high. It's yeah. high. It's like a coupon your friend gives you where you can guarantee to have them help you move forever. Right. Uh, it's it's an, like a, that. Cash an incredible that deal. That's yeah. true. I gave you a painting. You owe me a move every time there I want yeah. yeah. All right, guys. Shout out uh, at Manny, Manny Canelo and uh, also Jacob Hopper sending these this gem of a story we got next. The owners of the minor league baseball team, the Fresno Grizzlies, are facing a lawsuit from the family of a man who died while participating in an amateur taco eating contest held during one of their games uh, back in August 2019. Tell me he won that contest. He did not win. There were no no winners, only losers. Marshall Hutchins, who's 18 now, alleges in a suit, that's uh, in a suit filed Monday, that his father, Dana Hutchins, 41, uh, was not made aware of the risks and dangers associated with the taco eating competition at the Fresno Grizzlies game. Mm. Uh, This is according to the Fresno Bee. And the elder, Elder Hutchins, obviously, he died after choking on tacos okay oh i thought he shit himself to death no he, he choked he choked on he wasn't aware of the dangers of trying to eat as many tacos as you could eat in a taco eating contest yeah that could potentially lead to a block blockage of were they hard tacos right. or soft tacos i have so many questions they were i think they were hard the article didn't specify but based upon what i've what, what i'm going to get into it seems like they were hard tacos because i feel like a like a piece of the shell got lodged in his throat yeah, and apparently, wow. according to this lawsuit, they should have a disclaimer. Uh, guys, the event was a qualifier <laughs> for the World Taco Eating Championships, which were to be held at Fresno's well, annual taco look, truck throwdown. Well, those this are tainted a, now. Jesus. It's, well, no, no, they're not. It's a competition. If, if anything, they're more uh, exclusive. It, it, it was look, a play-in well, event. They're going to at least have to have like a taco you, of silence. Everyone eats one taco. You got to pay to play, all right? I mean, I mean at the beginning you know, of R. the competition. RIP, yeah. but uh, look, this guy knew the risks going in. I mean, his son says he doesn't, but... He he wanted to eat the most tacos in the world. You well, no, no, no. Okay. no. So, Will, 
this was an amateur competition. It was held on a Tuesday night ball game, right? Okay. And and the World Taco Eating Championship was that following Saturday. Okay, so this was Quick that's all professionals. Rounds. That's all professionals. So this is a play in event. Uh, hey, do you think you what you have what it takes to to run with the pros in the World Taco Eating Championship? He's and, like, yes. Um, he he thought he, he did, was, but he, he was didn't. wrong. <laughs> he didn't. Okay, um, so he signed up for the taco. Eating. Okay. And well, look, guys, I will say uh, that the subsequent World Taco Eating Championships was canceled out of respect for the fallen. Uh, but that was not enough for their family, apparently, because they're bringing this lawsuit. Guys, the lawsuit alleges, right. quote, Fresno Sports and Events, LLC, failed to fully inform Dana Hutchings of every risk he was accepting when he agreed to enter the amateur taco eating competition. Uh, the attorney bringing the, the suit also argued that the availability the tacos? and consumption of alcohol during the event enhanced <laughs> the risk at the competition. Um, one man who gave a firsthand account, he was there at the game of Dana Hutchings' performance during the contest, said, quote, it was like he'd never eaten before. Uh, he was just shoving the tacos down his mouth without chewing. He was eating so fast compared to the other two contestants. Uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> he was winning. <laughs> Come oh. on. All right, guys. About, oh, no. about seven minutes into the Tex Mex chow down, Dana collapsed and hit his face on the table and then fell to the ground, ending the contest abruptly. Uh, oh, no. But, oh, yes. <laughs> I, it's sad, but it's sad so that he, he dies. Winning. <laughs> He's hilarious. He's winning a lawsuit for this shit, man. I'm sorry. No, this is a, it's, isn't this like a scene in Oh Brother, Where Art Thou or some <laughs> movie like that where like a guy dies in a pie eating contest? Like, <laughs> This yes, is, it's it's yeah, it's like a this is like a classic like a comedy like a dark comedy gag. I think, like, well, I uh, think the pie eating contest was a story in the in the Oh Brother out there a story because it was like a fictional telling of a story. That's right. how crazy it is out how out there it is. Like yeah, it was. Like, I mean, yeah. it's 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 sad. R.I.P. Again, but like he was winning the contest. He wanted to win the contest. He 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 was going. <laughs> I for got gold. it. I gotta say that someone someone who studied witness testimony in in law school mm -hmm. that is that is by far the worst witness testimony to have against you for someone to say that he looked yeah. like he had never eaten before <laughs> <laughs> and he was like yet yeah, he wasn't chewing. <laughs> Mama, I gotta tell you, <laughs> that witness testimony is has nothing to do with the lawsuit. That was from the article from three years ago, almost. Uh, oh like, my god! Yeah, that yeah was but that's already out. Well, either way, that's. Terrible. Terrible. The pro like the, <laughs> That's the, just terrible proof the defense team that. might want to call that witness. <laughs> he did not know what he was doing up there in terms of chewing or eating. Uh, he was like a cone head. <laughs> they, they shoving might, yeah. food in his mouth. <laughs> they might have something with the alcohol, like offering also, alcohol. Are you bread, fucking so. kidding me, dude? I'm I mean, sorry <laughs> that you're a grown 41-year-old man and you chose to eat tacos fast and you died doing this it. This is my time to shine. I'm going to put it all on the field <laughs> yeah, I mean, for did. this amateur taco eating contest. Hey, but if I die, it's tacos. on you. Okay, if I yeah. I'm gonna put on a show up here, but if I die, you got to take care of my family. He did put uh, on a show. I mean, um, yeah, the coroner uh, found a mouth full of chewed and unchewed tacos obstructing his respiratory system, according to law. It was the tacos. Uh, that's, I mean, that's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> the coroner, the coroner's easiest job ever. He just pulls out tons of tacos. <laughs> what the tacos? I'm sorry, man. It sucks that your dad died, but you gotta let it go, bud. He's, uh, he's waited two years to bring well they gotta food. they gotta do something to make it right they got this i mean they gotta have like free tacos I, forever there's gotta yeah. be some kind of deal to like a make, make right here right i'm time sorry out. dude time out time out you gotta have everyone. like you gotta at least you can't time out look, right look, there's look. lawsuits frivolous probably I mean, but try to work it out like you got to process the grief of course you're of course it's sad for the family it's just it's a sad story anytime that anyone dies but don't bring this to national attention try to like make this resolved under the table you you're you're telling everyone your but fucking they, dad they're died bring, on eating they're, tacos they're having to bring it to national attention to get any type of restitution well, they're gonna settle that's, out, that, out was a, that was a mistake what, in my opinion what, what do you guys think makes it right one two three years of free tacos what, uh, what, that's what, what I'm thinking, that's what I'm, thinking. I'm, thinking, I'm thinking five years at, at, a, at a specific <laughs> it's a good game I would say go to forever. You know, I would say a rematch. Every day. A rematch makes it even. Let let another family member compete. I mean, <laughs> at a certain point, man. Like, I'm sorry, dude. Like, whatever. Uh, <laughs> rematch.
I'm fucking mad. They're 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 seeking on disclosure damage. They sued to bring the tournament back. Yeah, he would have won. Mad. He would have won if he hadn't died. Oh, he man, he we, it's fucking sad. He we uh, he entered a taco eating competition. He forgot how to chew. Died. Don't worry. Uh, I'm su- I'm suing the guys. Um, hey, uh, yeah, that's that story. It is sad. It is sad. But I mean, also, he knew what he was doing. He knew he wanted. Okay, let's move on. This is this is the perfect story. Pat's been trying to find like the like the funniest death to make fun of. And this one slaps this one. He's been like uh, we've been telling him it's too sad. Like it's a it's a balance of sad versus versus funny. This is just right. main, this is mainly funny. I'm going to put yeah. my fucking oh, will that if I die in an eating competition hilarious, from yeah. asphyxiation that we just let sleeping dogs lie. Sleeping oh. cats lie. We don't sue. Yeah, we we would have we would have like a, a night we we go to like a Mexican restaurant a Tex Mex restaurant and get hammered and eat tacos well, and laugh at like oh remember when Pat if did anything this and- if anything I think you should put a clause in there that says that you'll try to do what these people should be doing which is working for a partnership to memorialize you right like, so say you died uh, eating something you loved then we would try to work for a, a, a remembrance fund of uh you know at you at that restaurant maybe a statue of you. In the place where it happened, they you should know. open a taco restaurant. Oh yeah, dude, they should open a taqueria yeah, in the stadium, name money. it after yeah. Dana exactly. Hutchings. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, he could be a uh, Fresno Grizzlies legend. Forever. Call it the choke artist. Yeah, this. Yeah, they have to come with funny names for this. <laughs> for choke the up on the bat. This yeah. one's called the double gulp. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, let's Clock. move on. All right, okay. okay, moving on. Elon's World uh, from Tank Barstool. Thank you for submitting it. It's been a while since we've gone to Elon's World. Uh, but we need to go back uh, specifically because we need to talk about the co-founder of Neuralink with Elon uh, Musk. His name is Max Hodak, and he tweeted, um, let's see, on uh, April 3rd, he tweeted, we could probably build Jurassic Park if we wanted to, period. Wouldn't be genetically authentic dinosaurs, but shrug emoji, period maybe 15 years of breeding plus engineering to get our super exotic novel species hodak wanted a shitstorm huh so max hodak who puts chips in your brain that allegedly turn your brain into a supercomputer uh says it can cure blindness in a in a human brain is now saying that that technology plus selective breeding could literally bring back the dinosaurs Hodak likes to push those buttons, huh? On people. I uh-huh. was he necessarily saying that it's the Neuralink technology specifically? Yeah, yeah I think. Yeah, I, I mean, I think he was just saying that, like, hey, no, uh, we could do this too. They're if, saying if we get bored, I, it's it's specifically the Neuralink combined with selective breeding. He's saying that could make it happen. They're saying that this thing is so strong, it turns your brain so powerful that it can literally cure blindness. Like it could, you could teach yourself to see. Would that make sense? Because you, it's I don't, I don't, pathways. I don't, no, I don't think I don't think that's true. I think what Hodak did was like he, you know, he was hanging out with Musk, and you know, like they like to like uh-huh. prank, they like to prank people, and he like drafted up that tweet and like showed it to Musk, and they both shared a laugh, and then he he hit send. That's uh, a great guess as well as yeah. to how this occurred on Twitter. Um, yeah, but I, I mean, but I don't. Regardless, like I, I, regardless of whether you think it's possible or not. I do have a would you rather since we've been talking okay. about a lot about robots, sex robots in particular recently. And so you have to get one, one or the other first generation sex robot or first generation Neuralink sex you, robot. You, you have obviously. to get one and use it. Obviously, you sex have robot. to get one and use it. Obviously, sex robot, because the Neuralink could like kill you or turn you into a robot permanently. The second the the good version of the Neuralink eventually is going to be beneficial to you. The first version might kill you, whereas you could maybe get a dong injury at worst. You screwed this robot worst. You screwed this up. Will is it is it? I think it's the sex robot, and you can only bang that for the rest of your life. Is that what you're saying? You need to make it harder on the sex robot. Yeah, sex robot has to be harder. It's right now. Yeah. Oh, okay. So yes, you, you're you're done with related. You ha- the sex robots, your girlfriend after that. Mm, well, then that's tough. Yeah, that's tougher. I mean, well, what about the tenth generation you, then? When they both have work, to, when they both work as advertised. You'd have Neuralink. to. I think here's the rules. You have Neuralink, to get a sex. Ro- you have to get a sex robot and bang it three times a week because you like because that's like makes it more fair. Yeah, you have to make a commitment to it. I'm yeah. going. I'm going Neuralink on the first one actually. So I would. I would. I would. I would, I would hop a first generation. 
I mean, because like you've got to think about this. If you get in on the first generation, they're gonna keep upgrading your shit. Like they're gonna they're gonna oh, make your they're gonna point. make your like uh your shit will just keep getting better and better. Plus, you could get rich quicker. Like you have a leg up. Like it's like the yeah, you're gonna be smarter, it's like, faster. It's like the tortoise so, versus the hare. You're the tortoise. I don't think I going. needed to upgrade, update it at all. I think the first generation is the is well. The well, question. again, that's what would make it effective. Never have I ever is if you set boundaries on this situation. It would have to be first generation Neuralink locked well, it's, it's in. It's a would you rather, first of all. Okay, would you rather? I'm sorry. First generation Neuralink locked in or first gen sex robot only sex partner for life. Boom. Well, no, no, no. I think it's actually even better if you could keep your keep keep. You just have to use the sex robot. Yeah, yeah you just have to use the sex robot weekly. You can still like. Yeah. And, and, you have and to bang at the some sex point in your life. You have to bang a robot while. sex. Like weekly, it could be the first second. You have to keep it. You have to claim it. You have to say everybody knows you have a sex robot. For me, for me, I'm not into sex robots, so it's easy. I'm into first generation sex robot. I'll get my deed done. It's like jerking off, and I'll carry on with my life and my wife and all that other stuff. I'm waiting for the good Neuralink. No, your wife's out. Your wife's out. No, she's not out. I think it's okay. I'm still going Neuralink here. Okay. Well, hey, quick tie back. This is interesting. Michael Crichton, who wrote Jurassic Park, also wrote and directed the only film he ever directed. Westworld, yes, sex robots, early boner for me. And I wow, think, I think it was a really different tied it all together. There, I think it was a different book. We talked about that recently on the show. He, he the the movies Westworld, nineteen seventies, directed by Michael Crichton. But I think he wrote a book that's loosely okay. related to Westworld. All yeah. right, now I got to the bottom of it. Mark's right. They were watching. It was this Max uh, guy and Elon. They were yeah, they're watching with us. They're watching a Michael Crichton marathon. They're fucking with us. Yeah, they got high and they tweeted that out. There's no Jurassic Park in our future, guys. Crichton's a king. All right, guys. I'm new details have emerged in the DUI case involving 69 year old Kansas State Majority Leader, Senate Majority Leader Gene Sullentrope. So Sullentrope is facing felony charges or a felony charge of fleeing and eluding law enforcement, as well as multiple misdemeanors. And this after police finally got him to stop after multiple attempts to pull him over and quote tactical vehicle intervention so they tried twice to do a tactical vehicle intre- intervention which eventually led officers to have to deploy spike strips to deflate the senator's tires <laughs> solentrope uh, solentrope <laughs> sees right through a tactical like, yeah <laughs> he sees it as a challenge he, he outmaneuvers the shit out of him don't you try to pit maneuver me yeah. uh yes yeah, solentrope must have been fucking housed right uh, i was gonna say how hammered was he very hammered uh point one seven uh yeah there were multiple 911 calls from people who narrowly missed being hit by Sullentrope, who was driving the wrong direction down mm-hmm. Highway 70, doing about 90 miles an hour after midnight on March 16th. Uh, and he was not happy about being pulled over when he finally if I drive out- fa- if I drive fast enough I might be going the right way right he uh they so they spike stripped his tires and had to do some sort of pit maneuver and he still wouldn't turn his car off or obey commands uh and he was pissed uh, he finally turned his vehicle off uh, and he was very aggressive towards the officer who and Solentrope said quote all for going the wrong way and then he paused <laughs> slightly and uh, added donut boy uh, no. He called the cop a donut boy. Wow. Um, yeah. According to the officer's statement in the affidavit, Selentrope then, quote, made reference to physically going up against me. He looked me up and down, stating he played state sports competitively in high school. Yes. And that he could take me. This oh, guy. Man. Yes. I bet Selentrope <laughs> could. No, I, in Kentucky, that would be so many more charges. Remember in Kentucky, like if you call a, a, a cop a pig or whatever, they're this adding Kansas. Some, oh, yeah, right. I know, but I'm just saying. Yeah. Yeah. He's lucky he wasn't in Kentucky. Could he, good thing Selentrope knows. He yeah. can treat the Kansas cops like shit. <laughs> That's <friend>. right. <laughs> I cannot wait for the body cam footage to come out on this one. <laughs> oh, it's not out yet. Damn not it. out yet. All right, well, we'll play. He that sounds. Sure. He sounds like Alex Jones. Like if Alex Jones was just a small time politician in Kansas. Did he say if he was all district or not in the sports? I don't know, but like the team sports, individual sports. Do he we know? was definitely slurring his speech from the affidavit, from what I read, and so like how he got out that he played state sports competitively in high school. I don't know. Uh, but he was able to communicate <laughs> that clearly. And then be like, cause I could take you son. You donut boy. Piece he, of I, shit. I hope the the footage is like, it's like, he's like bragging about his alma mater. Right. Like one of the two private schools in Kansas. Or you somewhere. know what I'd like to see is the 30 minutes before that he got in the car too. <laughs> well, you can hear the 911 calls. They're online if you want, but um, uh, <laughs> all for going the wrong way leads me to believe that he knew exactly what the fuck he was doing. Yeah. What does that even mean? All for going the wrong way. He knew he was going the wrong way. Yeah. That's 
he at that partying. point you're supposed to be like i'm so sorry he was partying uh, okay he's having a good 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 time hey it's going long, but it's Friday, so we're just going to roll with it. Uh, to end this week, it's voicemails and reviews. Remember, if you leave us a five-star review on Apple Podcasts, we will read it verbatim. Five-star reviews help us get featured in Apple, so please, if you like the show, take two minutes and leave us one. Voicemails, uh, the phone number to leave us one is 512-270-1480, and I'm going to start with those, if that's okay. Okay. Oh yeah, dial them up, Mark. Hell yeah. Those, if that's okay. I went to two seven zero fourteen. I'm going to get that one of these days, man. That's right. One Let's of these days. We'll Rolls right, right off the tongue. Five one two two seven zero fourteen. We need a jingle, honestly, so I can remember it. Okay. Five one two two seven zero fourteen eighty. This is really hard to play. Okay. Good evening. Hey yo, guys. You're a cicada. The Cicada song was wet, and it got laid in his fucking friend's basement as he watched. That story's hilarious. So I got a follow-up. What is the weirdest place that all you guys have gotten uh, done the nasty? Uh, mine is a public library in college. Oh, public library is good. That is pretty good. All right. Yeah, because... weird or I don't think. Yeah, weird. Um, he was just bragging. <laughs> it's just yeah, awesome. that was really. <laughs> yeah, I mean, public public library is great. I don't know. Yeah. It's it's a minor, very typical in parks and cars. I would say is like the two craziest places, like multiple times. But I don't. I, don't, I think we talked about this say... on stereo. My best one's by far at Will's wedding. We all went to a, a hotel and I had sex with my wife in the ice room that night that's sick the uh, ice room is great yeah i hope room. no one needs any ice for the next 10 minutes <laughs> jeez i don't know i would just say uh I lost my virginity at the uh hampton inn on route seven in sterling that's pretty Virginia. Good. so that was <laughs> pretty weird <laughs> all right let's play another one one time um in texas we were doing it in a park and um i was like there was a cactus and um <laughs> just like a, ouch struck me that like texas is you know you gotta watch out it's dangerous you gotta it's watch incredible. out if you're dropping dropping there's a th there's dropping a theme, the trousers theme here a lot of a lot of stuff about wes or related to things wes talks about and he's not here so we'll just have to... okay boys dan here from chicago just wanted to call regarding your uh your take on organ donation uh my wife in 2017 received a double uh lung transplant and last year in july i gave her my kidney um oh. wasn't too bad but now, if I want to get rid of her, I got to uh, go divorce her. Whereas before the transplant, I just had to wait. <laughs> oh, that was a sick and dark joke. <laughs> That's awesome. That, that guy's going to love the taco eating story. He's yeah, yeah. He's absolutely love it. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think that I think that the organ donors are actually like swaying me a little bit. I. I'm I'm not one right now, but on the next go around, I'm you gonna, gotta be one. Wes, is I'm a gonna psycho. really, I'm gonna be like really, like, like really, like oh, I don't know what am I. People gonna had do? to have swayed you guys. Uh, I've always been an do? organ donor. I don't know what the fuck yeah. Wes is talking about. Who cares? You're dead. Who cares? Right. Take my organ. You're, fu you're fucking dead. Well, right. yeah, but there's the guy. What if the guy is the coolest? But you're gonna die either way. way. You're gonna yeah. It's it's like one in tr a trillion. Hey boys, Austin from Ohio. Um, just feel like I sound like Bubba right now. Got back from Miami. We <laughs> kind of exist, but not really. I was listening to your podcast recently. I know you guys just recently, um, and you tend to feel like pre-record your episodes. So how can you tell what the top trending actually is the next day when you're looking at the day before? Are you just making them up? I don't know. You let me know. Have a great fucking day. <laughs> no, that's like easy. That's easy to explain, right? Go ahead, Will. You get in the trends. We drop the sh so the show releases at midnight Eastern uh, every night. Correct uh, for for the day of that show. Um, so you're you're getting you're getting the latest trends as of like a couple hours before that. Right. Um, so to be to be fair, we we to be fair, we we record in the evenings, and by the time we're done recording, it's pretty close to midnight Eastern time. So when I'll we release, go back. It's, I'll a, go it's, back it's like and... a two hour off trend. Now, if you listen to the show at 10 a.m. noon, the next like uh, today's what Friday. If you listen to the show at 2 p.m. Friday, sure, your trends are about 12 hours off. But if you listen to the show when it's released, they're not off. I also yes. go. I'll also go back and add a, like a big yeah. one if we missed it. Yes, I know. But here's the deal. I want to point this out. Uh, there is no daily show 
right? That starts recording. So the earliest daily show that's released is like 5 a.m. There's right. no daily show that records from like 3 to 5 a.m. There's not one. It, it's no. all shows that do what we do, which is we go We're as most late, up to date. As late yeah. as possible the night before, and Correct. then we drop it at 12.01. But Will also does predictive trending. Uh, and and he it's, says it's the own, day the, it's his own algorithm. I do, I do, and like the National Beer Day, that like I didn't do it do it today for Friday, but we do know. Remember, it's the Women Can't Tweet Day, so that's what day it is. We did. Yeah, we talk about the day up. of. But good, good, we talk good about question. Them too. Yeah, good question. Okay, here we go. Two more. Have you guys had Yuri, the sex uh, doll loving Turkish man, on? You guys got to put on your big J journalism hat and not be assholes to him. You will never have fans or new guests on your show. Just saying. Choose your, choose your questions wisely. Oh, shit. That's fair. Okay, Yuri. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I talked, I talked was, to Yuri. Was that Yuri's that agent? That was Yuri. Yeah, that was Yuri with an American <laughs> accent. I talked to Yuri. No, he brings, he brings up a good point. We, we don't kink give... shame, man. No. We got to be. Oh, nice I, I just want to. I just want to hear. Like, I mean, it's gonna be hard not to laugh sometimes when he's like, "This is a, a she's like chicken, body of chicken." But I mean, like, right. I will try to do my best to be respectful. We, we'll be respectful. Legitimate questions. Look, we are a very accepting group of humans. We really yeah. are. We uh, we like to have fun. Like when we asked, like I really wanted to know when 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 we asked McAfee, "Hey man, did you shit in the mouths?" and I don't think that was disrespectful. If, Mac be... if McAfee was really being honest, he would have said absolutely. And you know what? Yuri seems like a very honest guy. He's going to say, I like to have sex with these dolls. You're going to get I honest. Did ha I did have sex Yuri. with the chicken. Yeah, he's going to yeah. be honest. So, so what day are we going to get Yuri next oh, week? Right. I think we Wednesday. We got to write We got to write the questions. We got to know about the chicken experience. He, he needs at least three days, he said, to like, because um, English is definitely his second language. I think he speaks like three or four languages. But he, he needs multiple days to prepare because he said he didn't want want to say something incorrect that would make him look bad like that last caller just insinuated so we need to give him three days worth of time to read the questions in english and write his answers in english uh, copy so, that okay so we need to get on that but stay tuned next week for yuri we'll 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 we'll, we'll find a way to get him on the show last one guys last one what up guys it's Colin from california uh so fat boy summer officially is going on it started with will now it went to my cannonball now I just got my Fat Boy Summer tank top. It's oh, legit! Cannot wait to be rocking this. You know, but most of the time, no, I'm not gonna be rocking a shirt because it is Fat Boy Summer. I can let my gut hang. Love you guys. Have a great fucking day. Oh man, so go. he's the guy that sent us the cannonball video. That was a Hell great yeah. cannonball. That was yeah. just a classic. Like I'd imagine, like he had like a nice like uh, like a grill going, maybe some uh, some dogs on there like right next to the pool and just i mean it seemed it just seemed like a really joyful occasion yeah send us your fa your fat boy summer videos and tag at hard factor news on instagram and, and that's and, it. and hashtag fat boy Summer. yeah we'll mm -hmm. share we'll share yeah for sure mm -hmm. I, oh guys speaking of fat boy summer i have a grill i just got a grill oh what I kind of grill got, it's, i mean it's a uh, propane but it's better coming, not better not coming, be an indoor grill it's coming this oh no outdoors buddy i'm gonna be okay. uh shirtless at the grill Fat Boy Summer. Shirt optional. optional. All right, we got, we got some reviews to end the week. Five stars from LCH Town on April 6th. It says, five-star reviews, the title. Mm. Wes is smart. Pat is dumb. Eat oh. <laughs> I'm telling you, Wes, Wes missed, the, missed the wrong day. Um, He's the star of the show. He's not even here. He's not even fucking here. They're like talking about organ doning. And Pat, he, like, you, yeah. you, is eat a dick what you're, that's your response to this guy? Yeah, he yeah. can just eat a fat one. There you go. Mm. But I do agree Wes is smart. Uh, someone <laughs> someone put a, uh, a comment on the YouTube the other day when Wes was stirring up that organ donor uh, bullshit. Uh -huh. And uh, they're like, man, Wes really struck a nerve. And someone was like, yeah, but Wes puts asses in seats. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I agree. That's Wes awesome. does put asses in seats. <laughs> it's like his money. That's his forte. Yeah, you got to be a little controversial sometimes. That's that's just Wes. Um, next one. Science equals big trust. 60 mini hot dogs is the title. Oh. Uh, the, the body's feedback system has a 20 minute delay. So it takes about 20 minutes to fill full. Hope that helps with the fat -a -thon. Remember, we talked about the competition with the eating 60 mini hot dogs, one per minute. And I predicted the only way it would be hard is if you got full. So this guy is saying, yes. right. OK, so that helps. For, we'll yeah. try to eat slowly when we're that makes it way harder. Weight, it makes it way we'll harder. eat 
extra fast when we're trying to eat the hot dogs. Well, we got to get the rules of the power hour because if it's a power hour, you eat one mini hot dog every minute. You're just going to have to see. Oh, who, I'm making who, it. I'm who, making who, it. You think you're even after 20 minutes when you fill uh, up? I'm making 60? it. I'm okay. making it to 60. Hey, okay. sure. can I throw this out here to the hive? For sure. Uh, so, okay, check this out. Uh, one thing that we are good at is coming up with or uh, kind of structuring some sort of ideas for great content or displaying that content. One thing we're terrible at is functionally following through with that. So if you're good at that, like it would be dope if someone could build a Fat Boy Summer Rules website okay. or could uh, help us come up with the rules for the, the hot dog contest, things like that. If you're good yeah. at that, mm. uh, shoot us a DM. We also, can use help. If you're, if you're organized. Yeah. I had heard, I had heard too. Now this hot dog eating contest or minis, sorry. Uh, what is it? Pigs and blankets. <laughs> what, yeah. what I I'd heard, uh, I'd seen some messages that people want to gamble on this too. Okay. So, okay. and Bubba, Bubba pop in real quick. Can you get to 60 mini hot dogs? One per minute. I don't think I could do it the power hour way. I think that yeah. that guy's right that that twenty minute delay I would get so full. You could probably eat sixty and twenty minutes. I agree. Oh yeah, you can eat sixty and ten. You can eat sixty and ten minutes. Ten minutes, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's for sure. I think I think he's right. I think I will. I think that you could definitely power through it. I know yeah. my stomach. I wouldn't. My my head catches up too quick to myself. I'm gonna make that sixty. I bet. Well, that that, <laughs> that yeah, makes that makes it super sure. interesting because oh, I think, I'm gonna sauce it up too. If I got one a minute, I'm gonna make him. Oh, special. He's, gonna, he's gonna show off. Okay. All right. Next, <laughs> next review. How can we figure out how to take action on that too? That's that's well, we'll, we'll we'll deal with that once we've got it. This one's and it's yeah. also remote. It's a remote event, which is great. So we'll be able. We'll to make we'll make Cam the house on it. Well, so like, I'll tell you who's the, there. You go, Cam. will figure that out. I'll tell you who's not invited. The taco eating guy that died. Uh, Ooh, next up, yeah, Jay Spa. Oh, that was mean. Jay Spa we, one 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 two again. Yeah, no, sorry. No, sorry nobody's, nobody's allowed to sue nope. the uh, the the Costco for the. Yeah, I'll I'll do the contest just as soon as you guys sign this piece, this piece of paper. We're gonna be sending it over via email. Exactly. Yeah, well, I'll that's... write up a I'll write up a wave. <laughs> Thank how, you, Bubba. How Thank embarrassing you. would it be to choke on mini wieners? So, anyways, J Spa one 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 two says five stars. Spoiled Kong versus Godzilla. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn. was a fan then they spoiled congress godzilla the morning after it got released no movie etiquette at all that's a knock on wes again that's a wes no the, yeah. dude jay's jay's bond knows exactly yeah. that's great that's yeah. great wes got you if you thought he spoiled kong versus he godzilla didn't. i think it's safe to say now he didn't, that was he didn't. april fools april fools all right next one r.i.p robin hood uh says P.I.G. Mags. Pidge. I don't know if that's if they're punking me there. Mm. I don't know. I might be again saying that. Pig. Yeah. Uh -oh. Pidge Mags. Uh, okay. Anyways, love the show. Will is my favorite, but the other boys are hysterical as well. Oh, Su super nice, unbiased. Big, there you go. Super unbiased and right down the middle for the most part, which I love in this age of bias. Some advice for Pat, though, when you have conservative guests on, dial it back. Arguments are no fun for the listeners. However, I'm with you, Pat. You have a stronger base. I think that's a knock on me. <laughs> oh, I think he's talking about getting Perfect. in the conversation with uh, with our boy from the Daily Wire. Yes. Right? Yeah. I think I think yeah, yeah. Cabin Phillips yeah, oh. Cabin mixing it up. I hear that. I'm not trying to be rude to any guest that's on the show. Um, Cabot had some takes on the Georgia voter law that I didn't like, and but I also like the, I I love having a discourse, right, a conversation because I think that's how our country grows. So I wasn't trying to be rude or shitty to Cabot. I just wanted to take on his 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 take, and he took on mine, and we had Cabot a good took in stride. Cabot took in stride. Yeah, yeah, I wasn't trying to be rude. Yeah. I thought it was fine, but yeah. uh, I was no, saying the I mean, strong, the stronger base thing. I think was not. I do have a hardcore base. You think bro. he's saying over, over Mark? He's saying. Well, he's saying bad. it over, over whoever challenged him to a base off, which is only me. So I mean, well, I, I well, I realized something about my base, and uh, it's that uh, it's not necessarily a strong base. Unfortunately, this is a tough lesson I learned. My base just has a lot of potential. Um, yeah, my base could be molded into one of the better bases, I'd say, in the tri Yeah, you got uh, patreon.com slash hard factor for the full extended conversation about this. Uh, Pat, so you feel like your base it should have been discovered at the right time. Yeah, I feel like it's a lot of it, some wasted talent in, in my base. Right. Like, just what God gave me in terms of my thickness in my lower half. Like smart. You'll have to listen back to that, too. Yeah. We, Wes and Pat and I discussed how Pat's base could have flowered into something much more great powerful you know um, okay had, had he had the right okay. base coach i like the yeah. uh um yeah i like the uh, gusto there good good thought uh next one from scotty big body k raw t five stars sick name dude scotty big body <laughs> scotty, <laughs> that's yes. a fat boy summer 
<laughs> that is. And the title is Good Morning. Uh, I enjoy this podcast so much. I listen to it every day, even though Pat is on it, Kami. Keep up the good work. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I'll tell you what. I had to put away the. Uh, Will, you put what? on your communist hat the other day, and I, I was oh, looking yeah. for the one that you sent me. Mm -hmm. And I think Kate pulled a. Uh, like, uh, I think she threw it away because it was in the window and she's like, it looks like a Nazi hat. What, no, from people on she the threw street. it away. I don't think she probably, she moved it somewhere. I can't find it. That's hilarious. She yeah, thought people be, would think it's a Nazi hat. It definitely kind of does look like one. You got it. You got it. You got to watch out a little bit. Yeah. I was, yeah. I, I agree with her on that. I always, I often used to look up at it when it was in my office. Now I think, well, man, that's similar to a Nazi hat. I could, but it can, is, it, it is the USSR, but yeah. they also did bad things to people. So, you know, I mean, it's not great either way, really, when you think about it. But I mean, you know, comrades were comrades. But the well, Beach Boys sang that song about being back in the USSR, which was sick. Yeah, that was exactly. which we can't, which we can't play because which makes it okay. Universal right? suing everyone. That's yeah. true. Um, Beatles, Beach Boys did not do back in the U.S. Oh, Beatles, whatever. Beatles, I meant the Beatles. Yeah, back sorry. in the U.S. I wouldn't mind hearing the Beach Boys back in the U.S. Yeah, that would Don't be good know too. How lucky you are. Next one, two left. For this one's from Mike Honch, O2. Uh, best news pod, period. Hey, if you like this review, and I hope you do, it's another West one, right? It's like he missed all these. <laughs> 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 Best source for daily news out there was an avid PMT listener and still am, but I switched to starting my commute off with you guys. I dropped my two year old and one year old boys off at daycare first and the oldest has started yelling out the good morning. Also, oh. along with Will, I normally have to lower the volume afterwards so he doesn't start talking about how horny Gates is at daycare. Yes. But other than that, great yes. pod. Yeah. Yeah. Only the first 20 seconds is safe for kids. Yeah. Oh, man. That's an awesome review, dude. I'm so happy that your kid yells the good morning. That's, that is a good one, and this is—is is it was it was his name a play on Mike Honcho, that which is the name from Talladega Nights when he likes. Uh, I I don't know, but it seems like a fake name, right? Like Mike <laughs> Crotch or Mike Honch. Like it seems like yeah. a play on something. Hmm. Um, and if not, great normal name that you have, Mike Honch. Uh, last one, Shame Talk says it's been too long. Come on, make my day. Play. Send in the car. Send in the car. Send in the car. And that's going to do it for uh. Hard Factor. That's it. That's it. Have a great fucking weekend. We love you guys. Goodbye.